Go on. Ready. Three, two, one. I honestly am really excited about this spot. I found this on Google Maps a few months ago and just haven't come to explore it. And Devin and I recently came to check it out and originally I thought it was a house, but it's actually an abandoned restaurant. And there's just so many levels to it. Now there's a couple downsides. The first downside is almost all of these walls are rounded and painted, so they're very slippery which can be remedied with some grip tape and some coke. And then the other thing is, the last time we were here, there were multiple homeless people uh, kind of camped out. So we have to be weary of that with our bags. And also as we're building lines to make sure if there is anyone here, we're not bugging them. So we're gonna get our warm up in and start trying to piece together some lines. There's a door. still has electricity. There's lights on, fans on, but you can tell it just, it's been abandoned for a long time. So obviously the main features of this spot is building a descent line or an ascent line because there's so many levels, you can kind of just cascade down it in a nice way from the roof all the way to the ground. And there's actually a lot of options. Like there's a lot of different routes you can take, which would be really cool for like a team line, you know, just getting multiple people going at once, coming down to a single point and look really, really cool. We've got all of these cables kind of in our way here. start on this side, make our way up and all the way over the building and descend on the other side. Um, we're gonna try and get a pretty cool drone shot that I probably won't show you guys because I think this will go into the final video, but I will try and do a POV and show you that. the second half be up to the roof and down this way now the obvious thing to do is just get to the roof and turn vault and drop down and then work my way here but I don't want to be obvious I'm gonna try and find something else but at least I know I have that worst case scenario actually you know what I do I wonder if it will look better the opposite direction so ascending up and then descending on the other side. <laughs> Oblivious. Yeah, so I might actually flip it. So instead of ascending on the side I was practicing, I would descend over there. And then here, I would make my way up that way. It's more dynamic here to get up. Like I can wall pop off of that up to the top. Whereas coming down, it's just kind of you don't have as many options. So I think I might do that. I think that'll look better. Originally it was gonna come run and wall pop here up to that, but it's it's rounded, it has okay grip, but it's really narrow and my climb ups are already bad. So what we're gonna do is run along this wall pop here up to that. And that's that wall up there actually has a pretty narrow diameter so you can over grip and really get a good pull. All right, so I gotta figure out these strides down here. 
because I think it'd be cool to work my way around this entire curve and go up to the top. All right, I'm still piecing together the beginning bit. The, the footsteps are kind of choppy throughout this whole curve here. And it's tough trying to figure out how to get it smooth, but I'll go ahead and take you guys on a POV. And once we get to doing the final thing, I'll probably do a POV also. So let's see if we can piece her together. I felt pretty quick. Three, two, one.